Honey, and it is time for a very, very exciting edition of First Impression Fridays. Today is a video that I have been waiting so long to make. It is the Mac Rocky Horror Picture Show collection. So today's video is kind of going to be like a first look, first impression, swatching kind of video. They announced this collection a couple months ago now and I was just like waiting, waiting, waiting for the day when I could actually go to the store and buy it myself. And I don't know about you guys, but this collection was so crazy, like descending, like locusts. It was, I was scared I was not going to get anything at all. I've heard that online the collection sold out in about five minutes. I do not know why they did this, but all of the Mac satellite stores, like the stores inside of Dillard's and Macy's, they did not get this collection in stock at all which was a major bummer for me because the mall right by my house, I don't have like a full size Mac store. It's all the satellite Mac stores. So I had to drive like 30 miles away from my house to get this collection at all. And I posted a picture of it on Instagram and a lot of people thought that I was sent this for free. No, no, no. I bought all of this with my own money and I stood in line. I got to the Mac store. I went to the one in Rice Village in Houston and I got there like 45 minutes or so before the store opened and I was already number 16 in line. They let three people in the store at a time, but the line moved really, really quickly. And I think at least most people who were waiting in line got what they were waiting for. I got one of everything because Rocky Horror Picture Show, near and dear to my heart. I was so obsessed with this when I was a child. So I got one of everything except for the nail polishes. So you will see everything in this video except for those. Without further ado, let me just show you the goodies. The very first thing that I got is the special edition eyelashes. Of course, I am obsessed with the packaging of each of these products. These are actually the number sevens. I think it's kind of weird. These are the same lashes that were in the Simpsons collection. So they chose those once again for the Rocky Horror collection. And I actually have a set on my eyeballs today. They might actually kind of be lightly hovering above my lashes. I'm trying to be stubborn and not use any lash glue. So they're just kind of like hanging out on top of my face. I tried to do my makeup like semi Columbia like today. So I know it's not an exact replica, but hey. The next thing that I got is Crazed Imagination, which is the blush for this collection. And also I have to say, I love the inside of the boxes as well. So much fun. All of the characters in black and white. I thought that was just a little something extra that they did this time. It's kind of a nice, very deep mauve kind of color. That is what I have kind of doing like this weird blushy contour thing on the side of my face today. The next thing that I got is Riff Raff, which is the eyeshadow palette for this collection. Three of the shades are frosts, two are matte, and one is VXP. I don't know what that stands for. So I'm gonna do a quick, quick swatch of each of them. I'm gonna be swatching around my tattoo. I don't know why, that's just where I like to swatch. That's how we do things here on the swamp. My tattoo has been with me for a really long time, so it's kind of old and faded and maybe not like the best looking, but it's near and dear to my heart. It was my first tattoo. I don't wanna get it touched up. I like the way it looks and it's on my wrist. So if you can't say something nice, don't say nothing at all. Moving right along. The first shade is Oh Rocky, which is this nice kind of creamy frosty shadow. Next you get Crystal, which is a really sparkly frosty lavender shade. 
The next color is Blackberry, which is arguably my favorite color in the palette. That is one of the matte shadows. The next shadow is the VXP shadow, which hopefully I can figure out what that means. That is Graphic Style, which is another shade I can see myself wearing a ton. It's a nice graphite, charcoal y, shimmery kind of shade. The next one that you get is this kind of blue shade, and that is called Heavy Black and Pendulous, and it is another frost shadow. And then the last shade that you get is Carbon, which is a pretty standard matte black shadow, and it's actually one of the shadows that I have going on my eyes today. Wow. I will probably get heavy use out of five of these shadows. Maybe not so much the lavender and the blue. I love the lavender, but lavender does not look that good on my face. I feel like we've been through that quite recently here on my channel talking about that. Sippy sippy. <sighs> oh, I have a sore throat today, so it's like ugh, burning. Next, I got the invisible powder. This is something I can see myself using like a ton every single day. It's just a very nice dusting powder and it's supposed to be translucent, but I almost do think that since it is so, so white, that you do get like a little bit of highlighting properties. It's definitely not pearlescent or anything, but I just think for whatever reason on my skin, I put it on this morning and I was like, ew. I feel like I'm glowing. Maybe it's just because I'm so excited to own it and have it and wipe it on my face. I just think that it's doing something magical, even though it's just regular powder. The next thing that I knew I had to have, I am obsessed with contouring. So I got the Sculpt and Shape powder for this collection, which is in Bone Beige and Emphasize and I am wearing both of them today. I did my contouring with this on my nose, my cheekbones, under my chin, and I also did my highlighting with this on the forehead, down the strip of my nose, under my eyes, all that kind of stuff. Does my contouring look good today? Would you give it a 10? Here is what the packaging looks like. This, of course, is for the contouring, and this is for the highlighting. The uh, contouring shade is matte, but the highlight does have just a little bit, I don't wanna say like sparkly, but it gives you like a nice kind of glowing. It's got just enough to like look real good. Next, I got two things which are not the most practical things, at least not for my life, but I got the two glitters. I like to think of these as glitter pigments, but they're not really pigments, they're just jars of glitter. Right now on my eyelid, I actually am wearing the black one, which is called 3D Black. I didn't really think that it would be as silvery as it looks. There is a lot of silver glitter mixed in with the black glitter. Here is what it looks like in the container. And I'm gonna try and open it and show you guys the top, but I was playing around with it and I already spilled some out earlier and that was just disastrous. And then the other glitter that I got is the gold glitter. And this is the one that I really wanted to wear today, but I was trying to do like makeup look like Columbia. And I thought she had gold for whatever reason, but I think it's just her costume is gold some of the time. It's absolutely gorgeous. I can almost see myself wearing the gold glitter more than the black. There it is, sparkling in the beautiful container. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. I also got the one loose eyeshadow pigment, which is, it's not easy having a good time. So the packaging looks really similar to the two glitters that I just showed you guys. And honestly, this is kind of a hard color to describe. I actually have it in and on my eyebrows today. It's really, really shimmery. It's definitely very metallic. And it's kind of like a magenta, cranberry, rusty, coppery kind of color. I don't know, you guys comment down below and tell me how you would describe this color. Last but not least are the four different shades of lipstick. I'm pretty sure that I know that these were the first things to go online. And 
the other thing that I was so excited why I had to get all of these lipsticks is because you guys may or may not know I am obsessed with matte lip products that is really like if I'm gonna wear anything I'm mostly drawn to matte lip products and three out of the four of these lipsticks are matte and one is amplified. I felt like I would definitely get a lot of uses out of all of these shades. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the one that I have on today, which is Frankenfurter, which was the first one to sell out at the location that I bought my stuff from. It is definitely a very nice red color, yet not like a classic fire engine-y kind of red. I do have on a regular red lip liner today, so I think it's kind of like, giving you like a false look that it's more like traditionally red than it is. I'm saying things all kinds of confusing today. Here is what it looks like. Under this lighting, it definitely does look like regular old red. The next one that we're gonna look at is Sin, which I actually thought was the prettiest color online. This is a nice dark, wine color, Night Moth. If you're familiar with that in MAC, that's what it reminds me of. The next color that we have to look at is Strange Journey. I think that this one is the orangiest shade. It's like a corally red is maybe a good way to put it. The last one that we have to look at is Oblivion, and this is the amplified one. So the only one in this collection that is not matte. It's really a nice, like, juicy looking berry color. So my only, only, only complaint for this collection, same as I was complaining about the Simpsons collection, why was there not a brush for this collection? That is definitely the thing that I would have wanted most, and I think that they could have done it so cool. Like, they could have used this same black and white print to do the handle and done like a red bristle brush. Come on, Mac. Why? Why don't we get special edition brushes anymore? This, I do not understand. I hope you guys found this video helpful or at least interesting. I know that this was kind of like a massive, excessive kind of haul and there has never been another MAC collection that I've ever bought every single piece of. But like I said, and I didn't get into any long detail, but Rocky Horror Picture Show is definitely near and dear to my heart. And me and my friends growing up, we used to like go home from school every day and lip sync all of the lyrics. So uh, this just kind of reminded me of my childhood and my love for makeup. So it was like combining like two good things in one. I would love to hear you guys' comments down below. Were you excited for this collection? Did you get what you wanted? Did you get something? Did you not? Do you not care? Do you not like Mac? All thoughts and opinions are welcome down below. Tell me, I wanna know. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today and for being here. I love y'all so, so much. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below. Subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.